We're in the kitchen this morning making some appetizers for your next get together, and these are kid friendly. Mm -hmm. The kids can make them and eat them. Amy Ott is with Klosterman Baking Company. She joined us this morning. Thanks so much, Hi. Amy. Kitty sushi. Yes. That sounds <laughs> really good. Now, it's not real sushi. We're just kind of no. mimicking the look of sushi, something that kids can have fun with. What's yeah. your idea here? So we have uh, three different things going on. We have our peanut butter and jelly rolls, which we just flatten our bread, cut off the crust. And you can use a rolling pin, a can, whatever, smash it with, have your kids smash it with Do a the hand. old finger yeah. technique. Yeah. So you pick your favorite peanut butter, favorite jelly, and you just spread it on there. This does get messy, just, and so kids, okay. will, kids will love right that. That's right up the kid's alley. And then you just roll it up, and then you slice it. Like We're this. mimicking the uh, classic sushi roll yep. here. There's no raw tuna or anything nope. uh, well, disgusting inside, as they would call it. But right. it, it's really a cool, kid-friendly treat, and it looks just like the sushi yeah. roll. Sort of. So then we'll do our tuna roll, which right. is just made. This is, this is the PPJ. Yeah. The PBJ. So we add a tablespoon of mayo. You do have the tuna, but it's the cooked kind. Right. It's uh, just a three-ounce can or four-ounce can of tuna. That's mayo and ketchup. A ketchup. A and then you can add a little dollop of hot sauce for flavor, but not too much because remember we're feeding kids. Right. <laughs> and then you just mix that up and you place. That's your final product with the yes. tuna there? Okay. So then you just add a little dollop onto your bread. And this is a great thing to sneak some vegetables in there for your kids. Oh, uh, yeah. Trickery is yes. always the best technique. So you add in a little bit of carrots and you cut your cucumber into matchstick sizes. <laughs> That's and cool. Also, when they sweet. make it, they seem to want to eat it more than if yeah. you had made it and put it in front of them. Right. It's all psychological. Psychological warfare <laughs> at, at right. the kitchen table at home. It always works. <laughs> and then you slice that. <laughs> all right. Let and, me slice this one okay, up here. Okay. Thanks. And our last one is a ham roll up. So we have cream cheese, which is a cool It looks trick. just like a sushi roll, by the way. <laughs> you can see that there. It's Perfect. Yep. Right? You don't want to well, dip wasab with wasabi, though, do no, you? No, <laughs> definitely not. So this is a cool trick with cream cheese. All right. Just put it in a plastic bag, cut off the tip. I'll let you finish that up then... real quick while I let everybody know. Go ahead and finish that, Amy. Mm -hmm. And I want to let everybody know we will have these recipes on fox45now.com. Some very cool kitty sushi recipes that you can learn how to make. Now, on that final one, you're putting some ham, some cucumbers, all kinds of things. Yep. Roll it up because that one's going right over to Chris Mulcahy. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that's going to be... That's it's okay. He, it's, he, he, <laughs> well, the extra large is just fine with him. All right. We got your sushi roll right here, Chris. All right. Chris? All right, I would say bring it over here right now, but then you're going to have a mouthful of sushi roll. You know, that's not good for your weather forecast.